Thinking of moving to Long Beach, but not sure what the public transportation system is like? What are the freeways if you're looking to commute to other places in LA County? Well, today in this video, I'm gonna show you and stay tuned till the end of the video because I'm gonna be riding the public transportation system to see if it's that easy. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke. If you're looking to move to Long Beach or Southern California within the next week, month, or even six months, give me a call, shoot me a text, write me an email, always happy to help. Right, let's get to the video. Hello, okay, so yes, today we're gonna to be checking out the public transportation system in Long Beach. How easy is it to get to Newport Beach, to Anaheim, maybe up to downtown LA, or even downtown LA, or even Hollywood or the South Bay? Um, a lot of people are living in those areas right now and they're just priced out. Rents have gone up, they're looking to buy, they love their jobs, they kind of wanna stay in their jobs, but they're looking to, looking to move to more affordable, areas and Long Beach is one of those really desirable affordable areas in LA County. It's by the beach, it's got the freeways um, and it's really up and coming. So today I thought I'd uh, see what it's like to get around um, from Long Beach. Also st stick to the end of this video. I'm going to go take the bus to the metro system and I'm going to take the metro system all the way up to Hollywood. Uh, to see how long it takes. It's a Friday afternoon, um, but I'm doing this video for you guys, so I better practice what I preach. Yeah. Okay, so here is Long Beach, if for people who aren't aware. Here is Long Beach. Obviously, it's, as far as I'm concerned, one of the uh, most affordable beach cities in Southern California. You've got downtown LA right here. You've got Hollywood here. Here is Santa Monica, Venice, and then down here is Manhattan Beach, Hermosa Beach, and Redondo Beach. Um, and then if I move this a bit further down, you can see Newport Beach and Huntington Beach are right here. Um, so they're kind of really the, the main areas um, that people are moving to Long Beach and are working in. So. So how easy is it to get to these areas? Um, I did a little bit of research here, just so I had all my stats right. 36 bus routes in Los Angeles with 1,871 bus stops. So that is pretty comprehensive. And then if we narrow it down to just Long Beach, as you can see, if you're looking to get around Long Beach via a bus, there are plenty of lines. It covers north to south, east to west. Um, I know several people who use the bus system um, and they're always quite complimentary. Uh, they get there on time, it's reliable. So, um, and I'll be riding it later on, so we will get to see this uh, in first hand. But as you can see, very comprehensive um, bus station, bus routes in, in Long Beach. Um, good to see. Oh, and the bus routes. Basically during the week, you're looking between, they're running between 5 a.m. and 8 p.m. Not all of them run that time, so definitely check, but there are bus routes uh, running within Long Beach between 5 a.m. and 8 a.m. during the week, and on Saturdays around 7.30 a.m. Um, to 8 p.m. Um, on Saturdays. So the Metro, um, as you can see, there's the A line, the blue line, so I made this blue. <laughs> it's been open since 1990. It provides a rail service between uh, downtown LA and downtown Long Beach. Uh, it also goes to Riverside. Um, and typically, 59 services run weekly. All right, let's have a quick look then at, at timelines here. You know, you have a job that you really like in downtown LA, but you, you can't afford downtown LA. You want to be there by the beach, so you're moving to Long Beach. If you want to drive from Long Beach to downtown LA, it's about 24 miles. Um, and depending on the time of day, it's taking commuters, as you can see here, any time between 35 minutes and an hour and 10 minutes. Um, so that's at Long Beach to downtown LA driving. To downtown LA via Long Beach on the train, say you, uh, let me move this out of the way a little bit. Say you need to be there by 8.30 during the day because you start work, you'd need to leave at about 7.30 a.m. Takes an hour and three minutes, it's the quickest right now at that time of day. So yeah, downtown Long Beach, all the way up here, 
to um, downtown LA on the train is taken just over an hour leaving uh, in the morning and then if you want to come back at night say you come back you finish work at say 5 30 you're looking to come back to Long Beach from downtown LA you're looking about an hour and four minutes all the way down to Long Beach so that's not bad um, rush hour 5 30 you should be back in Long Beach around 6 30 ish and then if you wanted to drive from downtown LA um, you're looking about 40 minutes to an hour and 15 minutes uh, the drive home so not terrible to be honest to get anywhere in LA <laughs> rush hour you're usually looking at an hour um, so that's that's not terrible so let's have a look here say you wanted to go to Hollywood you work in Hollywood but you want to live in Long Beach obviously it's a long way you're looking about 30 miles but you can go downtown Long Beach all the way up here to Hollywood you're looking at an hour and 30 minutes so Long Beach to Hollywood on the train an hour and 30 minutes and then on the way back Hollywood all the way down to Long Beach you're looking at about an hour and 38 minutes um, this is what I will be doing later on today, so we will check that out. Um, yeah, so you're looking about an hour, just over an hour, hour and a half, uh, Hollywood to, to um, Long Beach. Okay, so say you live in Long Beach now, um, your job's in Newport Beach. Not as far, but still, still a bit of a distance. Um, you'd probably drive, so it's about 20 miles if you went on the PCH. You can go the freeway, the 405, but it's an extra 10 miles. So I'd recommend the PCH unless it's really backed up. But you're looking at between 35 minutes and an hour and 20 if it's really congested. Um, and it's pretty much the same um, going the other way as well. So yeah, Long Beach to Newport Beach. I've done it in 35 minutes. Um, but yeah, it can definitely take an hour. An hour and 20, to be honest, seems a bit steep. Um, but yeah, it could definitely take an hour. Um, so say you need to go to the Amtrak, you're going down to San Diego or, or out, out somewhere else using the Amtrak yeah, in Anaheim. You can take a bus from Long Beach or the metro from Long Beach, 35 minutes from downtown Long Beach to uh, the Amtrak. So that's not bad uh, if you didn't have a car and wanted to go to, um, to the Amtrak in Anaheim, 35 minutes. So to Hermosa, say, you know, I, I've just, the reason I'm saying Hermosa, I've just had clients um, purchase in Long Beach and they were from Hermosa. They loved Hermosa, they liked working there, but the prices of homes is just too much in Hermosa Beach. So they, they moved to Long Beach. So you can see here, uh, Long Beach to Hermosa Beach is 18 miles. Their drive time um, in the morning to get to Hermosa Beach from Long Beach is about 28 to 55 minutes. Um, I go that direction quite a lot, to be honest, and it's usually around 35 minutes. Um, 55, I haven't had it. Coming back the other way, Hermosa Beach to Long Beach, yeah, that can be, if you leave after two, if, if you leave, say, after work at, say, 5.30, it's going to take you 40 minutes, 40 to 55 minutes, probably. Um, but Long Beach to Hermosa, for whatever reason, is not as busy. Usually, yeah, 35 to 40 minutes tops. Um, and let's talk about Long Beach Airport. Um, it really is a hidden gem here in Long Beach. Let me zoom in here so we can see where it is. So yeah, Long Beach Airport. It, wherever you live within Long Beach, it's pretty much accessible in about 15 minutes. <laughs> um, it flies to, it doesn't fly internationally yet, but as you can see here, Long Beach Airport, 17 non-stop destinations, um, American Airlines, Delta, Hawaiian Airlines, Southwest Airlines. As you can see here, these are all the, the non-stop destinations it flies to. Got a little bit more info here. 17 non-stop destinations, five airlines, 10 shops and restaurants. And they've just redone the airport. It's really nice. Um, like I said, I live in the plaza in Long Beach. So I live here in this area. So to get to the airport, 
I take an Uber, it's about eight minutes to the airport, and then I can be at my gate, checked in, ready at the gate in 30 minutes. I just went to Hawaii a couple of months ago, and I, by the time I left my house to the time I was at the gate, 30 minutes, absolutely beautiful. And Long Beach in relation to LAX is also pretty good, to be honest. Um, if you worked around LAX or you're looking to you know, live relatively near the main international freeway, um, as you can see, Long Beach to LAX, if you wanted to take the, the bus or the metro, you're looking at about an hour and five minutes. That's Long Beach to LAX on the metro. It's about an hour. Um, LAX back to Long Beach using the metro. It's about an hour and 15 minutes. Uh, and if you want to drive it, drive time, LAX to Long Beach. Obviously, this is Los Angeles, so it does heavily depend on the time of day that you're going, but in the mornings I've got to LAX from, from Long Beach in 35 minutes, but I know it can also take an hour. Um, so when you're, when you're traveling, you always want to leave a little bit of time, but um, it's about yeah, somewhere between 35 minutes and an hour to go from uh, Long Beach 405 to LAX. It's really, really not that bad. Sometimes if the traffic is, is, bad, is bad, you can go this way as well. So there's several routes into the airport. Um, so yeah, I've never, never really had it ba that bad. There's also, there's obviously Long Beach Airport. There's also Santa Ana Airport. Um, so Long Beach doesn't fly to San Francisco, for example. LAX and Santa Ana does. But if you're flying back from, from uh, San Francisco, I wouldn't fly into LAX because then you've got all this traffic and it's an international airport, it's a lot busier. You can bypass it, land at John Wayne in Santa Ana, um, and then you can get an Uber and up the 405 and it saves you a lot of time. So yeah, a lot of these destinations, uh, if they don't fly into LAX, look to see if they fly into John Wayne um, because it might save you a lot of time and money as well. So yeah, so as you can see, it really is not that difficult. If you live in Long Beach and you're trying to get around, Long Beach is really, really good for commuters. Look at all these freeways here. You've got the 405 up here. You've got the 105. You've got the 605. You've got the 5. <laughs> um, you've also got Fast Track. So if you're going up to Hollywood, uh, which one is it here? If you're going up to Hollywood, there's a Fast Track um, freeway. So you can really miss a lot of the um, a lot of the traffic. It's this one right here. I use it all the time if I'm going up here, the 405 to the 110. Up, um, you can bypass so much traffic because of the fast track. It's really, really good. I absolutely love it. Um, so there's plenty of freeways. Also, it has a free shuttle. I forgot to mention that. There's a free passport shuttle in Long Beach. So here it is. So let me move this a bit. The city of Long Beach offers a free shuttle bus going around the major attractions and hotspots in the city. They call it the passport bus. They're the big red buses. So if you're looking to go around Long Beach, uh, explore the hotspots and the sites, there's this free passport bus, they call it. It's the red buses. So check it out. It's a real nice perk of living in Long Beach. You've got, you've got some free transportation. So that's kind of my two cents right now. Like I said, uh, I'm the next half of the video, I'm going to you head up to Hollywood via bus to the train station and the train station to Hollywood. We can see how clean they are, how easy it is, how expensive it is, how much time it takes, what's the clientele on these public transportation systems. Is it complicated? Is it easy? I don't actually know, to be honest. I've been on the metro up to SoFi Stadium to see the Rams before. That was really simple. Um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to doing it. So, um, right, let's go check this out. Okay, so here we go. I'm walking to my local bus stop. Uh, it's just after five past six, um, Friday evening. I'm gonna walk to my local bus stop. It's about a five minute walk. Uh, and then I'm gonna take the bus, the 173, um, to PCH in Long Beach, where I'll pick up the, uh, the A-Line Metro um, at seven o'clock, which will take me, it's 14 stops. I have to change Wilshire and then that'll take me into Hollywood. Okay, I've arrived at the bus stop. 
Uh, the bus should be arriving in five minutes. So let's see if it's on time. I know in England they often aren't on time, so be interested to see. This is also a smart idea. If the bus stops more than a five, six minute walk and a bit far, get on these scooters. They're everywhere in Long Beach right now. As you can see, there's quite a few of them right now. So you get on there, it's probably a buck. Whiz down to the bus stop. Um, maybe I should have done that next time. This is kind of cool. You can find out when your next bus will arrive at your stop by texting. So if you're waiting here, it's a little delayed. Let's text this number, shall we, and uh, see what happens. Here it comes. Air conditioning, that's good. Works really well. Uh, they didn't give change, so you have to have the right change. Uh, I gave five bucks and didn't, uh, didn't get any change. It was meant to be two dollars, but hey, we learn something new every day. Okay, that was pretty easy. Uh, the bus was air conditioned, it was clean, uh, plenty of room to sit on. Uh, people, a lot of people said thank you when they got off. I, mean, I don't know if they travel a lot, they know the driver, but most people thank the driver when they get off. So, and then as you can see, got off just over there and I'm already at the, the blue line here. So that was super easy. I'm just gonna buy my ticket and I'll, uh, I'll see you again on the, uh, on the Metro. I was literally at the station a minute. Uh, the train has arrived, as you can see, Friday, 7 o'clock. It's bang on time. There's no one on it. No one on it whatsoever. It's clean, it's cool. Um, so, yeah, I think I got about 14 stops now, and uh, then we've got to change. Um, so let's see how easy this is. So far so good. $1.75 to get me all the way up to Hollywood. Uh, <laughs> pretty cheap. Uber would be about $45, $50. So $1.75. Can't complain. So that was pretty easy. Um, took about 45 minutes. I'm now at uh, 7th Street and Metro. Gonna wait just in five minutes and then I've got four more stops and I'll be in Hollywood. Hollywood. <laughs> so I made it to Hollywood from Long Beach and it wasn't that bad. Yes, it took an hour and a half, but um, it was pretty simple to be honest. It cost $3.50, I think, total to get here. Obviously an hour and a half, if you drove it, it would have taken about an hour. But you have a car, you have to pay for parking. Um, obviously you can't drink if you want to drive home or get home without driving. Um, so would I want to do this every day if I was commuting to work up in Hollywood from Long Beach? Probably not, but it wasn't a terrible experience. Um, like I said, air conditioned, it was clean, didn't have to wait long between the bus and the train. Everything was on time. There was no, there was a few sketchy areas, but you know, in general it was, there was security, I felt safe. So um, yeah, I made it to Hollywood from Long Beach. I told you I would do it. Um, and now I'm gonna go and have a nice cold beer. If you like the uh, video, please like, subscribe. I'm gonna be doing more videos in Southern California. So hit the notification bell if you wanna watch those. I'm Matt Tilly, the British bloke, and I'm off for a cold pint.